What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. And let's talk about this next download. Someone is going to retire because of what they observed off of you, what they've witnessed, something that they witnessed on you, about you, or around you has made this person decide to retire, okay? So I don't know what you got going on. I don't know why they were surveillancing you and monitoring you, okay? But maybe they thought you were a karmic energy. But this person has learned that you are far from it. And whatever shocking revelation occurred, it has this person considering retirement. They don't want to do what they've been doing and what they were doing to you anymore because you didn't shook them somehow. Okay. So let's see what comes out. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know surrounding this download. Please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the further insight and clarity that you have for the collective at this time from you through me, Holy Spirit? What else do they need to know? about this download that I received. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. I decided to move to another area in my house to just switch up the setting. Okay. So let's see how the energy is here. Let's go. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Rats are around you. This person has been monitoring you, surveillancing you, watching you, okay? This person could be the other woman. You could be the other woman, but somebody is a Virgo in this situation. I feel like somebody had this rat watching you. It could be another woman who had this Spy energy surveillance in you, okay? And he loves her. Maybe that's why he did it. Maybe that's why he was watching you or stalking you for whatever reason because he loves this other woman and he wanted to please her by coming for you. That's what it's given now. This is really giving some sort of hitman vibe, okay? They were supposed to come in and Fuck you up for a broad, a bitch. But when they got in your vicinity, when they got in your energy, something spooked them. It shook them now. And this person is no longer going to be doing whatever he is known for doing and what he was going to do for her to you. I'm telling you now. But he was watching you and coming for you. I'm telling you. Because he thought you was a karmic energy, whoever this Virgo is. She told this masculine that you were a karmic and that he needed to get on your ass for whatever reason. She may have even paid him to come for you. Okay? I'm going to slide this over some so y'all be able to see all the cards when they hit the table. But that's why this masculine was surveillancing you. For his love for a karmic, she the karmic, out here paying people to come for strangers. Because I don't feel like you have any personal issues, personal connection with this Virgo woman. But you do have a prophecy over your life, okay? And when you have a prophecy over your life, when you have a divine purpose, people like these karmics will come for you. Because they upset and they mad because they can't get into their purpose. They can't find meaning in their life. So somebody was trying to destroy yours as a result. A Virgo woman, honey. And I'm telling you, it's because of the divine prophe prophecy over your life. And you've been operating in, in that prophecy. And this has something to do with religion or spirituality. So I guess this Virgo don't like your spiritual practices. But this may very well be coming for that Virgo and this karmic that she had on your tail. 
okay? Whether he deciding to retire or not, he may be being forced to retire out of this business, what I'm picking up, because whatever the fuck he saw off of you, whatever revelation he had, it let him know that you far from a karmic or a concubine, okay? That you are truly divine and that he need to find somebody else to fucking play with. Because your life is always going to remain balanced. No matter what this Virgo or her karmic ass man try to do to you. Okay? Because when I see men decide that they going to go and try to avenge they quote unquote woman, they girlfriend, by attacking another woman, that's really giving that he like it up the booty. I don't give a damn. Because how bitch made are you? to come for another woman when you a man. And that's literally what's coming out here. He wanted to come for you because his woman didn't like you. And now his ass sitting up somewhere shaking like a stripper cause he's scared. Cause see, he done seen some shit now, I'm telling you. Whatever he saw, that shit damn near turned his ass to stone and ash. And he not fucking playing around in your energy anymore. He not going to be sur surveillancing you and monitoring you and stalking you and hacking your shit anymore because he got a visit from somebody about you. Okay. And he didn't told his Virgo too, that it was some sort of Medusa vibe that he experienced in his observation of how he was going to take you down. He don't even want to chill with this Virgo anymore because of how shooketh, I'm hearing shooketh, he was by whatever apparition came to him or was around him, whatever happened, I'm hearing apparition, okay? So you got some energies hovering around you and whatever he saw hovering around you, it was giving Medusa vibes because I'm telling you that man, he, if it's get, I just heard a pillar of salt. I don't know. I don't know. But if he was out here on some, some fake shit, some flawed shit like this, he ain't doing that no more either. This shit in reverse. And I really feel like this is some sort of geek technology type of dude here. Okay, I really feel like he got access to certain computer systems and things. And he has also been hacking into your phone, hacking into your Wi-Fi. I'm here like he was watching you in multiple ways, but he didn't think anyone knew that he was watching you. At least he know now that you are not alone. I'm telling y'all, people are learning every fucking day that just because you out here walking by yourself and don't seem like you have a lot of people around you, don't mean that you alone. Because some of y'all spiritual family, it, it be like a whole family reunion. The energies that be walking with y'all throughout y'all day who hover over you and watch over you while you sleep. It's like a family reunion for whoever I'm picking up on here. Okay, you got a whole family reunion worth of ancestors, people who aren't even necessarily your ancestors, but they respect what you do because you have used your spiritual gifts and this prophecy over your life to help other people possibly connect with their family, make amends with their loved ones, and their ancestors are appreciative of you helping break generational cycles within their family. So you ain't just got your ancestors around you, you got other people's ancestors around you too, okay? And whatever this karmic masculine saw, it has, it has forced him into a healing catharsis. This man is going through a dark night of the soul, whether he wants to or not, okay? He didn't cut this Virgo off behind whatever apparition was hovering around you and let him know, you know, you might fuck around and turn into stone if you keep playing with this person. That's what he was 
shown, okay? And now this masculine is asking the universe to order his steps, guide him in the right way so that he don't fuck up and find out. Fuck around and find out. Because whatever he found out trying to fuck with you, he got a clear vision, okay? That he don't need to be hacking your shit, surveillancing you illegally, monitoring you, following you around, peeping how he going to get you. Because it's some sort of white collar type shit here, okay? Like I said, he he's some sort of hacker or something. And he wasn't supposed to get you physically. He was supposed to get you on something white collar. He was supposed to fuck you up somehow with that electronic shit. But if he been, if he's accessed your home, if he's surveillancing you in your home or anything, he finna stop that. I'm telling you, he's been shown that he do not need to fuck with you anymore. Or that's that ass. Because look what was behind that. Revenge. If he don't stop fucking with you, all of these ancestors, this family reunion type vibe that I'm picking up on, they coming for him. And he been shown that now. I'm telling you now, he been shown that. And he don't want no parts. He told her, contract, what I say. What I say now. They got a contract with you and they will fulfill that contract. He thought he had a little hitman contract with this Virgo he fucking with or was fucking with. But you got a contract with the universe, with the spiritual realm. And that contract will not be broken as long as you continue to remain in alignment and you operate in your divine prophecy. Because order my steps is up under prophecy. Okay. This man may have picked up a habit. Because I'm telling you, he's known for this hacking computer. Let me fuck somebody's world up digitally type vibe. He's known for that. He was finna do a number on you, honey, for this Virgo. I'm telling you. But look. That's over with. 222 two, two, and 555 five, five is out here. This man is about to make some pivotal changes in his life, okay? He, he is retired. He out that game. He out that hacking game, okay? He out of that cyber shit game. He ain't doing that no more. You was his last person that he gonna do that to. I bet you that. You done drove this man to drink, child. Holy Spirit, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you now. This man been called on the Most High God to help him push through whatever supernatural experience he had about you and to help guide him along the way moving forward because he don't want that shit coming back to visit him no more. Okay? He was frightened. I'm telling you, when I said shaking like a stripper, damn it, I meant it. That man was shook. What, he think he need to go to therapy now. Because of what he saw when he thought he was going to come fucking with you. That warning he got, that warning got this nigga go, thinking he need to go to therapy now. I don't know who this is, but I know what I just heard. You know what I almost said? I almost said niggas and flies, okay? And, and, and on that note, we don't argue down, okay? We don't, we don't argue with hoes who still reading tarot from air mattresses and shit with all kind of dust and dirt floating around them, but swear they want to talk about somebody else being fucked up and somebody else being dirty and nasty. Somebody else not being authentic, but the bitch walking around with 15 fake items to accentuate her body. And I ain't talking about clothes and earrings. Okay, I'm tired of hoes. But we don't argue that. So when a hoe try to come for you, but you can visibly look at that hoe and see 
If she ain't got nothing on you, baby, we don't argue with hoes like that. And that's off track, but that's a shout out. Cause see, I will call out a bitch name if I feel like it. Or I'ma come see you another way. How about that? Cause these hoes love thinking they so spiritual and they so tapped in and they so divine and they so protected. But if you was if you was truly tapped in, if you was truly spiritual, if you was truly in alignment, then you would know who to fuck with and not who to fuck with. Okay? So maybe some motherfuckers need to go back to the drawing board because I'm telling you, 2024 20, ain't the year to call yourself, decide you want to pick no fights with me over being no tarot reader. This ain't the year for that, baby. And I damn sure ain't finna let no raggedy ass tarot reader think that she damn making any mockery over here. Because this is given that this is a tarot reader. This is a spiritualist who was coming for you because you were spiritual. And she tried to get her little geek technology boyfriend to hack your shit to see what the fuck you got going on, possibly trying to copy you through his surveillance of you, okay? And that shit then backfired. Because best believe if Medusa Energies came to see him about you, they came to see this Virgo too. Clarify Holy Spirit. Because I sure just picked that up. This somebody that do the same thing you do, but they are not anointed. They not tapped in. There is no prophecy over their life to practice spirituality in that way. They fucking playing around and that shit finna pop off in their life because of it too. Adoption, foster care. Somebody about to be without a parent in a minute. That's what that's telling me. I don't know if this Virgo got kids or not, but you can't be out here trying to get some views, fucking with anointed folks for views, and think that ain't nothing gonna come back on you for that. Because that's exactly what the fuck going on here. This a Virgo. A Virgo terror reader, psychic, whatever the fuck they do, that was mad at you because you are truly anointed. And they tried to fuck with you. But it looked like they they um kids might not have no mama if they keep it up in a minute. That's what that's that's what that shit say right there. Okay? Clarify, Holy Spirit. And we're gonna get ready to close because that just pissed me off. Anyone with anything negative negative to say for no given reason got issues. Exactly. This is someone who is in the same field as you spiritually, and they coming for you. You don't even know this hoe, okay? Because, see, I just picked up on this hoe that was talking that shit about me and a few other tarot readers thinking she's so cute. A whole goofy-ass broad. Sound like goofy when she be laughing. This shit came up in my damn news feed yesterday. Oh, we finna talk about it. We finna talk about it. The hoe got karmic in her damn fucking moniker. She a whole fucking karmic. Sitting up talking about tarot readers, spiritual women who ain't even fucking with her, talking all this shit. Talking all this shit, y'all now. <laughs> Bitch gonna end up here if she keep fucking around. Cause I picked up. I just picked up on some shit now. People gonna get enough. Running their mouth, trying to be cute. For some views, goofy as fuck, swear everybody else fucking goofy, but the bitch sound like goofy when they laugh, but everybody else goofy though. Okay, ho, because I'm telling you, I don't know if it's that person, and I don't know who this Virgo is, but whoever it is, they ass fucking around and finding out today. Both her and her little op karmic ass nigga. Because I, I said it three times. Lord, forgive me. Hope I ain't offending nobody. But y'all know how I, I am. And you know what I say about that word, too. Because, no. We not doing that shit. We not finna sit up and let people think they gon' damn throw shade and throw throw darts at you and shit. I'm in, I'm in full support of all my spiritual brothers and sisters 
who are using their divine gifts to help people move forward in a positive way. But what I'm not going to do is sit up and play with no hoes who trying to get a quick check instead of taking their sorry asses to work by stirring up trouble with folks that they don't even know and that they're not a correct, correct in their assessment of. I ain't with that. And I know somebody know who I'm talking about because I already called the whole name out. Animal Instincts. That's what the fuck just happened in this reading. Y'all going to have to forgive me. The energy is on about an 8.5 now. But I don't like that shit. And that's why all of this energy is showing how the universe didn't like that shit they did either. Because the most high has the final say. No one is in full control. And this Virgo and her karmic boyfriend thought they was going to control your life somehow because of the spiritual work you do. And you far, you have surpassed her. You have, you have passed her. She ain't even in the same traje trajectory as you. She ain't even in the same arena as you when it comes to spirituality and prophesizing. So fuck them. Because your, your spiritual team and the spiritual team of other people got your back. Final messages. Because no, 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 no. Because you got purpose, damn it. You got a purpose. And there's a prophecy over your life. And as long as you continue to follow that plan, yes, hoes like this and they millions is going to get taken out the game for fucking with you. One way or the other, people got all the damn sense now. Because when you got faith and divine order over your life, just know God going to block all that bullshit. That they try to throw at you, that they try to say about you, that they try to imply about you and don't even fucking know you. Bitch ain't bit more psychic than the goddamn man on the moon, but coming up with all these damn theories about people she don't even fucking know. And then trying to put specifics on it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And all y'all got to do, honey, is keep moving forward because God gonna handle the rest. I'm telling you now, whoever you are, God going to handle, the most high God going to handle this. He already handling it. He handling this fake ass spiritualist. He handling her karmic ass boyfriend. And he handling anybody else that think they want to play in your face and with your name and with your credit and with your cell phone and with your personal business and your bank account. Because he was in all your shit. They was trying to come up with some way to cause a downfall for you any final messages options i'm telling you they was all in your shit looking for options and ways to take you down because this virgo fake psychic because she a whole fake fraudulent asshole i ain't finna pull no addi additional energy on her ass just no medusa on her ass too but you will continue to have options despite these options they had and thinking that they could come for you. Cause I'm telling you, this man was all up in your shit. Texting her and telling her and, and screenshotting things and showing her stuff about your business. But baby, they going to regret that in a minute. They going to regret it in a minute. Now he already regretting it and she not too far behind. Cause look, and I'm dropping the damn mic. This didn't hit the table. This is what he's saying now. He asking for forgiveness for coming for you. I'm telling you, he is so scared. He is so bothered by what he saw, what he was shown spiritually, that this man is asking the most high God in the universe for forgiveness for thinking that he could even challenge you in this way. Okay? But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. Go listen to Suck a Nigga by A Trial Call Quest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.